Okay, and welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be going over uh, a method that you can use to kind of get rid of the fisheye effect on the super view, the wide angle view that the GoPro does. And it's a, it's a great view because you can get more in the shot, but it, it makes everything look really distorted. Very big in the middle, very small on the edges, which is why they call it fish eye. Now, there is a way to get rid of that in the GoPro editor. The editor you're looking at here is the GoPro editor. And down here, under the regular controls, these are the normal controls that you normally see right here. Now, the rest of them are all there. You just have to scroll down and open them up down here framing controls and then when you look at those you'll see this value that you can work with called H dynamic and H zoom and these seem to be a couple of different um, settings that you can work with the GoPro put in here on purpose because they knew that there was going to be an issue with the fisheye which is um, that which is great, honestly. But a lot of people don't know about that. And let me show you how it works. Say, for example, I have two different examples that I'm going to be working with. I've got these two over here, and uh, one of them is the uh, the view you see there, which would be like a car view. That's the on onboard view on the mower. And as you can see, we've got a terrible fisheye thing happening here. Kind of a curvature. And you're not going to be able to get rid of that completely, but you can make it better. And then the other one I have over here is a clip where it's on the tripod and um, farther back. As you can see there, you get that, um, that curve there. And if, let me try to get the mower right in the middle there somewhere. Right about there, you see that? Okay, so what you've got here is when the action is in the middle of the frame, it is big, but when you get it over to the edge, it's really, really, really tiny. And there's things that you can do there with that each dynamic thing. And let me... I'm just trying to get the mower right in the middle there. Come on. Uh, close enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work with these values here. And I'm going to move the H dynamic right here. When you move it to the left or right, you see what happens to the image. Now, of course, with a regular fisheye, since it's big in the middle, this would be making it skinny in the middle. And then going this way would be making it even wider in the middle. And it's up to you what you want to do with it, but, you know, common sense would say to move it to the left. But I found that in these type of shots, it's better to move them to the right. I'll show you here. So moving that all the way to the right. Also, you have this value called H zoom. If you move that to the right, you can see that uh, that curved value right there is straightened out quite a bit. That's a little too much right there. And of course, the more you H zoom, the more you lose on the left and right. Now this looks about right. So as you can see, I put the values almost all the way to the right. And so let's play and see what happens there. Let me back it up just a touch. And, you know, still kind of fish-eyed, but better than it was. Now, if you're thinking it doesn't look any better than it did, let's return it back to the original value. This is on the widest view, super view, by the way. If we put these back to the middle, you'll see the difference. Very fisheye. So 
So one of the things that you can do, if you were to just put that value to the left, which would theoretically be correcting the fish eye, this is what you get. We've got, this turns into almost a V rather than a curve. And that's not, that doesn't look right to me. So what I do is I move this over to the right and things look better to me. And that's my computer freaking out because I'm asking a lot of it. So there we go. Looks pretty good and then you can just do the H zoom just a little bit to um, straighten it out just a bit more. And so that's something that you can play with there and so that's an example of what it will do on a tripod shot where you're showing a very very wide view like this is this is a very wide um, front yard here as you can see but now going over to the other clip so that's about that's about where I would put it this one kind of halfway between and you can click on these and get actual values when you go out Right there, you can see it actually gave you a, a number. <laughs> Boy, couldn't it be just a little bit more exact? You see that? One point, good grief. And this one, 1.333 all the way over. Okay, now moving on to the other clip. This one here is an onboard view. Now, let me get that going. There we go. Okay, so now on this one, it seems to want the opposite. It seems to make more sense to get rid of the fisheye by making the center smaller, but not all the way. You see, if you go all the way, it distorts it differently. I'll show you here. See that? It's gone too far. But if you were to go about halfway between center and all the way, which by the way I think is about 0.8, that's what that says, yeah, 0.8 something, that seems to do just about right. Let me play it here. As you can see there, it's pretty much straightened out that fisheye, and yet your shot is still very wide. And if you're thinking that it didn't do anything, let me put the value back. To one, the value would be one right there in the middle. And then you'll see that it's very fisheye. See that? And let me uh, put that back to halfway between there, about 0.8. And then you'll see, looks quite a bit better. And so that's one way to correct the fisheye. Now there's not one set way to do it. Just play with these two sliders, H zoom and H dynamic. It would be nice if there was a V dy dynamic because it's not correcting vertical um, exactly right in my opinion. And if you're looking at that vertical thing that actually just moves the vertical up and down. I'll do it for you just so you can see. See, that's not not what you're thinking. But there are other editors that will control that even better like for example Sony Vegas will give you more control over every aspect of that and you can get rid of it completely exactly correctly um, but the reason why I'm showing how to do it in this editor is because this is a free editor people generally like the free option and the GoPro editor is free you just go to the GoPro site and download it it accepts only I think only MP4s and AVIs and it's a little annoying to use in some um, areas. For example, when you go up to this view and trim, 
what this is where you drop in your mp4s and then you have to convert them it asks you to convert them into AVI which is the largest format you can think of so on a giant edit you would be like filling up half your hard drive temporarily just for the project then you can delete everything or if you had AVIs you can just drop them right in here like after it's converted and you want to call them back and you happen to still have them on your hard drive you can just drop them right in here and edit them from there so now with the rest of the video here I'm gonna go ahead and process um, what I did here and I'll label them as such as original and corrected and original and corrected so that you can see what happened and I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that this is an option it's a free option and uh, you don't have to live with that fisheye at least not as bad as it is on your really wide angle shots so I hope this helped somebody or everybody and y'all have a good day